What's up guys? I'm back with another video, and in this video I wanted to play a clip of something I saw regarding the great Mr. Farrakhan. And in this clip he explains and goes into detail of how white people are afraid of black people. His views are rooted in his broader perspectives on race, history, and social dynamics in the United States. Farrakhan often frames this fear within the context of historical oppression, systemic racism, and the potential for retribution. A young lady said she's afraid of violence. And isn't it sad that we who have been the victims of so much violence, now whites fear violence from us. We do not have a history of killing white people. White people have a history of killing us. See, and what, and what you fear, may I say this, sir, what you fear and it's a deep guilt thing that white folks suffer. You are afraid that if we ever come to power, we will do to you and your fathers what you and your people have done to us. And I think you are judging us by the state of your own mind, and that is not necessarily the mind of black people. As you can gather from this old clip, Farrakhan argues that white people's fear of black people is partly due to a subconscious awareness of the historical injustices committed against black people, such as slavery, segregation, and ongoing discrimination. This historical guilt, he suggests, leads to a fear that black people might seek revenge or retribution. He also mentions that white people fear losing their economic and social dominance. As black people gain more opportunities and assert their rights, some white people may feel threatened by the possibility of losing their privileged position in society. Farrakhan has criticized the media for perpetuating negative stereotypes about black people, particularly black men, as violent and criminal. These portrayals, he argues, contribute to an irrational fear among white people. According to Farrakhan, deep-seated racism and bias are ingrained in American society. This systemic racism fosters an environment where fear and distrust of black people are normalized and perpetuated Black people who were brought to this country were stripped of their names, language, culture, religion, God, and taken totally away from the history of themselves. Here are 30 million people who don't wear their own names. They wear your names. Who don't speak their own language. They speak English, which is not their language. They never, never were allowed their own cultural expression of Africa. Don't you realize that when you turn a people upside down and inside out, then sell them, not for a day, not for a year, but for 300 years and deny us the human right to know, to read a book, to learn, to understand, and then, after 100, uh, 300 years of that, you allow us into the church, but by that time, you've painted Jesus white, God white, the angels white, and then all these black people have been subjected to a form of white supremacy, which produces in the reverse a black inferiority. And this is fulfilling what Jesus said, as a man thinketh. So is he, and as long as our people think the way they think, we will never be able to do what we as a people should do to correct our condition. But let me know what you guys think, and I will catch you guys in the next video.